Hi, this is Dr. Krause again. I'm going to show you the steps that I'm going to go through to uninstall Spider and then reinstall it from Homebrew in, from Source via Homebrew. So I'm assuming this process is going to work and go smoothly, and so I'm just kind of recording it along the way. And if you've not been using Mac for a super long time, maybe you're not aware of different ways to uninstall. Um, applications and sometimes you're supposed to be able to right click and there should be an uninstall option I don't see that with spider so I'm just going to go to the applications folder I'm going to find spider and I'm going to and it's 900 megabytes yikers I'm going to drag that thing to the trash and then I'm going to say empty trash and that should be all it takes once that happens And I'm going to verify, I should have done this on a video, but I'm going to look at my storage and see how much space I have free, and it, that's gone up significantly. So it was 20 something, 26, 27, it's kind of weird, it shouldn't have been that much, but okay, I see an increase in my free storage, and if I do a four finger pinch and try to find Spider, it's not there. I think Spider has been successfully removed, and I no longer see it in my applications folder alphabetically where it should be. So I'm going to call that good. I'll now move on to the next steps of homebrew stuff. Okay, so I have the spider removed that was installed via my DMG file and the next uh, step is going to be to um, do everything with homebrew and download the source and all of that. Um, on this page that said um, installing or running directly from source which is so I went to the python hosted.org slash spider takes me here and there's an installing or running directly from source and it tells you a little bit about the requirements the main one is pyqt4 so go over to a terminal and type brew install pyqt pyqt and that may take a while on your computer if you don't already have it installed. I don't know how long it takes because I already have it installed apparently from something I've done in the past. And so the next step is to download the source uh, zip. So I'm going to go back to the root uh, of the documentation. And there's a link here that says to download, go to um, GitHub, uh, similar to what we did for the uh, control module. So I'm on GitHub and here's a setup.py file inside a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to download that as a zip and save that in my downloads and double click on it to unzip it and then when it unzips um, open up a finder window automatically and so there's my setup.py inside here so I'm gonna to go to a terminal and I'm gonna say CD downloads spider master and so there's the setup.py and so sudo python setup.py install give it my normal Mac password for logging in and then I have no idea how long this is gonna take Uh, but when it's done, I should have Spider ready to go. Okay, so the question then is, I don't know, so it puts some stuff in here, how to actually launch it. I don't think it got us carried away. It did not create an application. So it took me a little bit to figure out how to launch Spider um, once I had it downloaded and installed. Uh, it was not going to work until after I did pip install 6 dash dash upgrade. There was something about the 6 module that I had on hand installed from somewhere that was not the most recent version or whatever. I don't even know what this module does, but it was just coming out of a, a Python error message, a traceback. And so I run that command and it's actually telling me I should upgrade pip itself. I've already got the latest version. You would not have the latest version. So run that command. And then, um, so the key to finally being able to launch Spider, and for now I can only launch it from a command terminal. I'm gonna try to fix that shortly, is that it, it creates a script called Spider in user local bin. So this will work when it's done, and you'll know that it works if you can say which spider and you see user local bin spider now if you don't see that if it comes back with a blank line it's t that must be that user local bin is not on your path and one way to verify that would be to echo path 
and it looks like I had to specifically add user local bin to my path that is done in your dot profile file in exactly the same way that you have a um, Python path um, whoops I got to spell Emacs correctly you also have just a regular path that's not just for Python but for all executables and so you may need to have a line like this one added to your um, dot profile so export path equals and then I've got user local bin in that path and there could be there could be other things in there that's fine as long as at a minimum it includes user local bin in your path so you'll know that that's working when you can type echo path and see user local bin it actually looks like it's in there more than once which is kind of sloppy and not great um, and then when that works you can just type spider at the command line and it will automatically launch spider and we'll see the little gooey guy coming up over here the little splash screen and it's working just as it should and more specifically I can come over here and I can import the control module because my sys.path is all taken care of and I can run the demo code that I had posted for checking out the controls module and I can calculate a step response and I can plot it and so there is my underdamped second order system in spider using the same Python that I use for everything else that's coming from homebrew and that makes me happy um, been a little bit of a long process might have caused more confusion than anything else and so come see me if you have questions getting this up and running. Thanks.